June 4. How do you know? How do you know when to set the hook? How do you know when to set the hook when you're bass fishing? When you're crappie fishing? When you're cat fishing? How do you know when to set the hook? Well, I'm going to tell you right after today's devotion from Catch a Better Life book. Good morning, guys and girls. June 4, June 4, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to that channel, be sure to subscribe to it right now. Catch a Better Life uh, with Jimmy Houston. We have three YouTube channels, Jimmy Houston Outdoors Fishing and Jimmy and Chris Houston Twin Eagle Ranch. Twin Eagle Ranch. Make sure you're subscribed to all three of them. Uh, if you're a Facebook person, Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters, Facebook. We've got everything up there on that Facebook page. Catch a Better Life book has a scripture from the Word of God for every day, a devotional built around fishing, and a fishing tip. So you're going to become a better person. Your life is going to get better. You're going to become a better fisherman at the same time. Today we're looking at Ephesians 4.31, and it's a good one. This is really good. This is one you need to really hang your hat on. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Get rid of all that stuff. Those are bad habits. Get rid of them. Ray Mursky. My buddy Ray Mursky was one of the early professional tournament fishermen. Ray was mostly a worm fishing guy. And worm fishing was done a lot differently back then than it is now. In tournaments, <laughs> Ray had a habit of completely losing his cool when he missed a fish or when he lost a fish. If you were within sight of Ray, you knew when he missed a bite. You knew when he lost a fish. When this happened, you knew it immediately. You knew it. If you could see him on a lake and you recognize who it was, and he missed a fish, you would hear him. You would hear him. Today's scripture directs us to put away anger and put away evil speaking. Anger, bad language, evil speaking, saying bad things about people. Why does God say that these words and feelings are bad anyway? Why in the world does he say that's bad? Sometimes it feels pretty good to get mad. I believe it's because that these things steal our joy. It's really, really difficult to be angry and mad and happy at the same time. All these are directed at somebody else, but we're often the ones suffering from these words and attitude. Many times the other person's long since forgotten the incident, but we're still bitter and angry. It's still stealing our joy, still stealing our joy. Uh, we're not supposed to get angry. We're not supposed to say ugly things to people. Uh, we're not supposed to be clamoring about terrible things. We're supposed to be happy. We're supposed to be full of joy. We are the people that have the right things, the right attitudes in our heart and our mind. Here's the trick, though. Getting rid of that stuff is not easy. Getting rid of bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking, it's not easy. Pretty much impossible to do on our own. Let's pray today for God's help to get bad feelings and bad habits out of our hearts and out of our minds. These are things that for the most of us, we need God's help on. We need God's help. We can't just say, okay, I don't care what they do, what they say. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get angry. I'm going to keep a happy countenance about me no matter what. It's really hard to do. But with God's help, all things are possible. All things are possible. Here's our tip for today. Fish have no hands. <laughs> so when you feel a bite, set the hook. You know that that bait is in their mouth. They can't grab it with their hands. They have no hand. Set the hook as soon as you feel the bite. Now, there's a bait or two, like a rubber frog, that you might want to hesitate a little bit before you set the hook. On top water, on top water, you want to wait till you feel the strike, until you feel the strike, which is exactly what we're saying in here. Once you feel that fish on there, set the hook. They have no hands. When they grab a hold of it, they're grabbing a hold of it with their mouth. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one. And remember, I sure do love you.